Hey, what is going on, Demogul? My name is Ted, and today I'm here with Dave Mays. And there are a lot of Black Friday sales out there going on right now. Probably too many to count. We have looked through all of them, and we are pulling out a couple of our favorites here. You got Dave here, who's already done all the research for this. We're going to talk about what is the sale, who is it for, and kind of rate those discounts in terms of one to five. And full disclosure, we will be linking everything that we talk about down below in the description, and those will be affiliate links. So if you want to help show your support of Indie Mogul, feel free to use those links. And at no additional cost to you, you will be helping out the channel. So we really appreciate it. And also there's a lot of other products as well too. So we're going to put those online on this website brought to you by Squarespace. And that is Tway thinks these sales are cool.com. You can find them there. <laughs> Ready to do this? Let's do it. We've broken up into categories. First one is camera lenses. All right. Kicking it off. So here we go. Our first one is the Canon M50 with yes. the EFM 15 to 45 millimeter lens. Now I have reviewed this camera multiple times. In fact, it was one of the largest view count videos that I had on my personal channel. And it is so wildly popular, this camera, especially for content creators. I think this camera is one of the most underrated cameras from Canon. It's so portable. It's so small. That kit lens is actually the perfect kind of 24 to 70 equivalent. And the 1080p quality is very good. It's got the incredible dual pixel autofocus system. Uh, I think because of what I listed, it being just such a solid workhorse camera, even though it's a little bit older, I'm going to give it a three out of five. The only reason I'm doing three is just because it's old. Mm -hmm. um, I don't necessarily think you should just like rush to go pick this up because you could probably buy one used, maybe even cheaper than this if you really wanted to. If you're on the fence and thinking about buying it already, not a bad time, yeah. but it's not worth like all of a sudden developing this need for because yeah. it's on sale. Uh, next up, we have another camera that we use here in the office already, which is the EOS R. We have two of these cameras in the office. This camera is one of the most underrated cameras. A lot of people make titles with that, you know, Mattia Poya, Potato Jet. Uh, however, it has been, you know, it, it, it has been upgraded now with the it's R6. It's got some serious R5. flaws, but yeah, that's okay. The 4K has a major crop on it, but it still looks really good. It's a beautiful looking 4K. I think the ESR is really a great starter camera for a filmmaker or indie mm. filmmaker. The problem is the price, $15.99. That's a little bit, even with the sale, you could buy a Blackmagic 4K and get RAW, ProRes, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to give it a eh, four out of five. Four, four five. because it's old. All right, four because it's old. We got the last camera that we're talking about here, and we're talking about the Canon EOS R6. Yes. And we are only talking about a $100 discount, but this is still interesting, and why is that? Because this camera's new. It just came out this year. It's literally like only a couple months old, and it's already on sale for 100 bucks. So I think this is a great time to pick it up. Yeah, you get a brand spanking new camera, a camera that normally wouldn't be on discount at all, but I think, honestly, from a manufacturer standpoint, they're probably just being like, well, this is there's a lot of excitement about this. People on the edge, if you're on the edge, this is a great time to get one at a quick discount, yep. and the price is going to go right back up after this. Yeah, so I'm going to give it, a, uh, I guess, a 5 out of 5 because it's a heck of a deal because it's brand new. It's going to hold its value. And if you don't like it in a couple months, you could probably sell it on eBay and make what you bought it for back. At All, least. Right. All right. Last thing we got here is we got a couple of Canon lenses here. So we have the EF 70 to 200 millimeter. We have the EF 28 millimeter 2.8. And we also have the EF 16 to 35 millimeter F4. So yeah. three lenses here. Uh, let's just go real quick and just say which of these is the most exciting to you. Yeah. So I would definitely consider the 16 to 35 F4 with the IS. Now it is a slower lens, you know, F4, but that focal length and the fact that it has IS on it is just such a versatile lens to use. Uh, 16 to 35 is again a very, very popular uh, vlogging angle. Like Devin Supertramp shoots everything on 16 to 35 mm -hmm. when he shoots stunts. Most vloggers use 16 to 35. As far as like one of the like worse lenses, I guess, um, you might see that 7200 28 and be like, oh sweet, that's a good price for that lens. But remember, this is actually the original, the 7200 28 like OG. That, came, that lens literally came out like in the 90s or like early 2000s. Mm -hmm. It's very old. The focus is slow. So do your research on that lens if it's something you're interested in. All right. So moving on from Canon, we're talking about our next camera brand here. We're talking about Fuji. So uh, real quick, what is the sale that we got here? $9.99 for the X-T3. So if you watch our previous video on the X-T4, basically all the specs of the X-T4 are in the X-T3 with the exception of the IBIS and the flip screen. So we're talking about 4K 10-bit up to 60 frames per second. A very, very powerful camera for a low price. Four out of five. 
Good price for Four an incredible to five. camera. Looking good. Okay, moving on. We got Nikon over here. So we're talking real quick about two Nikon Z cameras, the Nikon Z5 and the Nikon Z6. Tell me about these cameras real quick. So who should be looking at these and how's the discount? Yeah, so again, we're coming from a filmmaker perspective, but Nikon especially is kind of known for being a stills company. They make great stills cameras. So if you're a hybrid Nikon shooter in particular, if this is a great option, our very own Tway loves Nikon. I used to shoot on the Z6. You can actually do ProRes RAW out of the HDMI now, which is pretty incredible. Incredible. And uh, it's a really powerful tool. It has IBIS, full frame 4K, and none of the caveats that the R has. The Z5, however, is a little bit more of an entry level option. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of the pro video features like 4K ProRes RAW and stuff like that. I personally would recommend the Z6. So yeah, four out of five four on the five. Nikon. Looking good. Okay, sounds good. So we got a couple of four out of fives here. We're moving on to our Panasonic sales. Uh, two sales I think two people are really excited about here. One, the Panasonic GH5 is now available for $12.97 down from $19.97. That's a huge discount. And also the GH5S is also available down from $2,499 to 1797. Yes. I'm sure a lot of you guys that watch this channel own one of these cameras. Both of these cameras are some of the most popular cameras in the indie filmmaking world right mm -hmm. now. Still, even though the GH5 original came out a couple years ago, and for $1,297 to get a camera, again, that can shoot 4K 10 bits, 60 frames per second, that has anamorphic support, that has Canon, waveforms. where are you? <laughs> Where are you? And best in class IBIS. For a price like this, five out of five, in my opinion. Both Whoa. of these cameras are incredible. So if you're looking for a camera sale, this is probably one yeah. of the biggest discounts to look at. It is an older camera, so make note of that. It's also Micro Four Thirds, make note of that. Okay, so coming up <clears throat> to our last camera brand that we're talking about here as far as Black Friday sales go. Yep. Coming up with the one, the only, the notorious Sony cameras. Sony. So we've got a lot of sales uh, on the on the A7R in particular. Now you guys might see that and be like, "Ooh, I want that. It's cheaper than an A7S3." And the A7R4 is actually on sale. Mm -hmm. um, those cameras, just so you know, are really made for photographers. They're high megapixel uh, cameras. I think Sony's color science has gotten incrementally better through each version of their cameras. So when you go back in time in Sony land to the A7R2, uh, the color science isn't the best. I don't necessarily recommend these cameras for video shooters. Mm. Real quick, which of these cameras would you pick though out of the A7 line if you had to pick one of these to recommend to somebody? So as you can see, we also have the A7S II and the A7 III. Mm -hmm. Between those two cameras, I think a lot of people had a lot of questions before the A7S III came out. Should I pick up the older A7S II? And uh, when you put them head to head, the A7 III and the A7S II, even though the A7 III is cheaper and has lesser qualities about it, I think it's a better all around video camera than the A7S II because it's got the incredible autofocus system. It has a lot of the newer features from newer cameras, like the extended battery life, mm -hmm. the new battery system. And I find the 6K to 4K down res that the A7 III does mm -hmm. is really good. But we did also just review the A7C camera. We'll link in the icon above. And it's coming in around the same price as the A7 III with the sale. Um, so make up your own mind on that. If it were up to me, I would choose the A7C over even this one. Of the lens sales that we saw that were notable, uh, we're talking about Sigma. Here. Yes, Sigma 18 to 35 f1.8 is kind of like a god lens in the filmmaking community. Yeah. f1.8 constant from 18 to 35 on a crop body, it's perfect. On a RED, <clears throat> on an Alexa, yeah. M50, or the EOS R in the 4K mode. That lens in particular is one to pick up if you haven't already, and you're on a crop body, obviously. All right, so now that with camera and lenses, let's jump on to our section number two. We're talking about software. Yes. So speaking of software, if you want to save real quick, this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Ted has a great Barack Obama impression. If you want to save 10% off on a discount, you can go to a website at squarespace.com. <laughs> You know what's crazy is there's no impression there. That's literally just your voice. It is just my voice. With his impression. It's actually just how I talk in general. Uh, again, we are making a Squarespace website that has all the discounts, not just the discounts that we're mentoning in this video. So if you want to go see those sales, you can go to www.toythinksthesalesarecool.com. You'll be able to see all of the Indie Mogul sales that we like on this mm -hmm. website. Everything listed out in a beautiful template, which Squarespace <laughs> does indeed offer. I think we should have some funny pictures on the website too. What, yeah. what would be funny? Me holding a what? Just like naked Dave holding camera gear. Just. <laughs> <laughs> and then Dinosaur Ted. Yeah. Go type in Indie Mogul for 10% off of your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks Are we ready to go back to the episode? Yeah. Black Friday. Let's go. Okay, here we go. So right off the bat, we have Adobe Creative Cloud, the annual plan 
prepaid monthly dropped down to $39.99 a month when it used to be $52.99. We're also talking about the annual plan prepaid. We're talking about a whopping over $120 discount, $479 down from $599. So yeah. uh, how are you feeling about these? Well, we use Creative Cloud. We edit in Premiere, After Effects, Photoshop. We use all the tools. This is a great deal. I know a lot of you guys use the Creative Cloud suite. If you already pay for it, Go ahead and do this now. It's a great way to save some money. It's like buying toilet paper at Costco, <laughs> right? Am I wrong yeah. here? It's like buying toilet paper at Costco. You're, so you're right. going to need it. Yep. You know you're going to need it in the future. <laughs> just buy it now in bulk and save some money. Why not? Yeah. Honestly, I would give this a five out of five sale just because oh, of, yeah. of the need of it. Oh, absolutely. It. If you're money. already paying, I do think you can actually talk to Adobe and they might even honor this if you're already paying and you're already on an annual plan. I've done that in the past. Um, so consider reaching out to Adobe. Okay, so next up here after Adobe, we're also talking about our sale over here from the Film Riot guys. Uh, Ryan is actually doing a couple sales as well on the Trying Store if you haven't seen it. In addition to kind of the amazing tutorials that he already does, he has a bunch of assets online, like all of the soundtracks and all the sound effects and all the hits and effects and stuff like that. For the first hour only of Black Friday from 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. Central Time, you can get 50% off the new products that they're selling and 70% off all other assets. A killer deal and only available in the first hour. Great assets here. Very cool here. we got to give them a five out of five for me at least for that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Six out of five. Yeah, six out of five. All right. So moving on from Triune, we were talking about a company here called Isotope. So... I think I'm a little bit familiar with Isotope. Yeah. You can fill me in more. I think they're like a they're like an audio plugin company. Right? Yes, they make some of the best plugins for both musicians and filmmakers. But they're selling a full Isotope bundle that is valued at over twelve hundred dollars. And get yeah. this, for Black Friday, it's fifty bucks. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> so this is a crazy savings. It's a full bundle of all of their kind of more like base versions of their plugins. Mm -hmm. So you're not getting the like RX-8 special edition that is like a thousand dollar plugin. Yeah. You're getting the, what they call RX elements. So it's kind of like a watered down version, but I personally use it uh, for all the videos on Indie Mobile. Uh, if there's like some sort of problem with wind noise or our dialogue is kind of muddy, I apply some of the dialogue denoiser and things like that. In Final Cut even, you can get it in Final Cut Premiere. Uh, it's got its own standalone app. I really love it for 50 bucks. It's kind of a no brainer. It's That's a steal, yeah. an amazing deal. Uh, again, 12 hundred dollar value easy five out of five because mm -hmm. of the deal here uh moving on to our next category here from software we are talking the opposite of software we're talking hardware so yeah. uh all right apple boy so there's always a bunch of apple discounts during black friday and it is usually a great time to pick up a laptop mm -hmm. but this year is different than most because apple is completely changing their architecture moving forward they're not using intel processors anymore they're using their own Apple M series chips. Wait, 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 hold on. Forward. You were just, wait, so we have all these sales here and you're saying none of them are worthwhile? In 2020, <laughs> if you're buying an Intel Mac, I think you're nuts because what we're seeing right now from the M1 chip, even from the cheapest 699 Mac mini, is outperforming my $3,000 maxed out 16 inch MacBook Pro. I think Intel computers from Apple are just obsolete. So what is that, a one out of five from you? <laughs> Here's That's a, a one out of five. That's just clear. He's nice. He doesn't want to give mean ratings. Okay, I'll give two out of five because there are definitely people, and if you're one of these people, let me know in the comments, that need the older support. They have some older apps that maybe won't be supported on Apple Silicon. But if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, go do some research on the new Apple Silicon Max. Hard drives. Every yes. filmmaker needs media. Seriously, here at the office, yes. we're buying media all the time. Oh gosh, yes. So uh, what are the sales looking at right now? So Samsung has their very popular T5 SSD on sale up to two terabytes. You can get the two terabyte version is down to 229. It's a $40 savings from normal. I love this hard drive. I personally have one myself. It's the hard drive that you've probably seen mounted on a black magic camera. They're these tiny little look like a matchbox kind of hard drive. Yeah. And it's amazing how much storage <laughs> space you can get on an SSD that big. Last two things we're talking about here for hardware. We are talking about SD cards. Yes, SanDisk so. and Lexar. From SanDisk, we've got a 256 gigabyte SD card, and this is down $6. <laughs> Just $6. Why are we even talking about this? <laughs> Who the heck put this on here? 
Uh, we got a sale here from Lexar, 128 gigabytes, fifty dollars off, down to one hundred twenty dollars. This is a UHS two yeah. model. So what does this mean? So UHS two is kind of the newer standard of SD cards, and a lot of the nice fancy cameras like the A7S three, the GH five even uh, support UHS two. And the important factor here is it's a two thousand X. So this is literally like one of the fastest cards you can get on the market. So if you're shooting really high quality 4K 10 bit like on an A7S three, this is a great card to pick up. It's kind of a no brainer if you are a shooter. Moving on, we are talking about lighting and sound. I gotta plug, I gotta plug myself. <laughs> yeah, we gotta do the plug. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, Aperture is doing sales. We're doing 15% off the 300X and we're doing 20% off of like the spotlight and all that other stuff. Um, on the deity side, I know those guys are doing a sale as well on a bunch of things. You can go check them out. Uh, but if I had to pick one, I would probably say the D3 Pro is 20% off. So that's pretty exciting yes, there as well. I use that mic myself on yeah. this channel. We use it often. It's a great high quality on camera microphone. And lighting, look, there's a lot of choices out there. You, you can pick whatever the heck you want to pick. Like Quasar, who's yeah. also doing a big sale for holidays as well. Uh, yeah. 20% off the rainbow uh, light plus the crossfade. People that don't know, uh, the rainbows are basically Quasar's RGB lights. Mm -hmm. Really exciting stuff there. They're doing 20% off of their RGB tubes, so that's like 100 nice. bucks off. They have a bundle, actually, that's 30% off on like a pack of nice. either two, a double or a quad of Quasar lights. If you're shooting your music video thing or yeah. shooting a fashion thing, chances are you're probably not just using one tube. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is a great time to get kind of a full lighting kit. Moving on, let's talk about our other sound company that we're talking about here, mm -hmm. Zoom. Zoom. So for people that don't know Zoom, we are talking about probably the most like ubiquitous, mm -hmm. famous audio recorder company <laughs> for content creators especially. Yeah. Right? Uh, you got the H6 and the H8. Uh, we used to use the H5 for a long time here, actually. So the H6 is kind of the bigger brother of that. Mm -hmm. And the H8 is like the, if you're thinking about Pokemon, this is the, the maximum <laughs> evolution of the yeah. H series. No kidding. And, and it, when you mention Pokemon, it kind of looks like one. Like So the thing is, if you're a podcaster or you have plans to do podcasting, I would definitely recommend the H8 over the H6. It has a lot of new features that some mm -hmm. of these older ones don't have. Like, for example, you have a podcast app in addition to the H8 that you can use. But if you're just needing something to, use like this while we're doing a video shoot, you know, put two microphones like this or a boom and record separate audio from your video, then the H6 is more than adequate enough. It's got a great preamp. It's a little bit cheaper. You can save some money. Um, save those $50 and buy Isotope. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you exactly. go. <laughs> you got the recorder and Isotope. In yeah. One. So anyways, you can't really go wrong with either one of these. Okay. So moving on to our last section of the day that we're talking about here, we are talking about accessories, camera accessories. Specifically, we're going to start with gimbals. Uh, the Ronin SC gimbal is on sale. It's a big savings. $210 savings on that gimbal. It was a big deal. <laughs> 210 off from 539 to that's like what a 40% discount right yeah. there. So the reason it's such a big discount is because this is the first version of this gimbal. We're already on the SC2, which we reviewed on this channel. Um, however, I do think the original SC is still one of the best all around gimbals. It's a small, lightweight gimbal that can hold a mirrorless camera. I personally love it. I used it all the time when I had it. I think it's a killer deal. 329, you can't beat it. Atomos is doing uh, the Ninja 5 is now $4.99 down from $5.95. Nice. Yeah, so the Ninja 5 I've used ever since it came out. I love the thing. It's super powerful. It continues to get better and better with firmware updates. You see it all the time on Twitter. They're constantly adding new cameras to the list of cameras that can record ProRes RAW on this thing. Again, your camera by itself is a recording device, but if you want to level up the image that is capable of yep. coming out of that camera, having an external recorder can let you do that. Exactly. So, it's a good time to buy it because it's yeah. on sale. So four out of five. Uh, again, that's that's, that's, a, that's like close to $100 off. That's a pretty big discount. Yeah. Here we go. We are talking about the hottest fashion of filmmaking. <laughs> Bags. Yeah, bags. What uh, bags do you like? So Peak Design has a great sale going on on pretty much every bag that they make. Mm -hmm. um, so go on the website and see for yourself which one you like. I recommend the Everyday Backpack. It's on sale for $200 uh, from $259. So mm -hmm. you're saving $50. Bucks. Alrighty. It's a lot of sales. It's a lot of sales. 
Is that everything? No, that's not everything. We actually have even more in the description down below. If you click that first link, you can go check it out. Uh, we're gonna be updating it as well. There's probably more sales happening even right now as this video goes live. We will be keeping that website up to date on the things we recommend. But this video is kind of the highlights and some of the things that we think are the best deals. Right on. Likewise, if you see other sales that you think are worthwhile or important, did we miss anything? Leave those in the comments down below as well so that Dave will rate each of those one to five. That's right. I'll let you know how good that sale was or if your <laughs> ideas are just <laughs> bad. <laughs> I hope you guys had a great turkey day. Once again, I'm Dave Mays. I'm Ted. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.